Hi there Cancer, this is going to be your singles love reading for November of 2019. I hope you're doing well. So we are going to check out the situation, see what is going on. And uh, yeah, so let's begin. So whilst I'm shuffling, I just want to mention as well that if you'd like to win a free reading with me, information's down below, as well as private paid reading information and my intention bracelets which are handmade by me. Okay, so all of that is down below. Singles, love for cancer. Ooh, justice. Okay, the moon just also flew as well, all the way into my drawer, which is on the side. Okay, so we have here some very interesting energy. We've got the justice card. Let me just align this up. Justice card, we have the Four of Wands and the Moon card. Temperance, very interesting that we have Temperance because we got Sagittarius season in November, so it really does show as well that it's really connecting to the time as well. Now Temperance is all about patience. I really feel like your emotions might be a little bit high in November, so the big message here is be patient with yourself. We have many retrogrades going on. We have the Neptune retrograde, which is ending on November the 27th. We also have, you know, a full moon. We're also going to be having as well, you know, throughout the duration of November, the Uranus retrograde, which continues. And we also have the Mercury retrograde. So, yes, emotions might be all over the place. And so, again, it's about really, you know, keeping balanced, trying very much so to keep your head above the water. I know that sounds really intense, but it is a really good time for you to just put a lot of that focus inwards, trying to really balance out your energies. Things like meditation can really help. Different, uh, different ways and different forms of mindfulness can also help. So... Try to just be patient, know that you are protected by your guides and your angels. Okay, so the moon here is showing that crazy energy that you might feel throughout the course of November emotionally. Now, the Four of Wands here is very, very interesting because this is a singles love reading, right? The Four of Wands here is showing me that you are protected. This is also an angel card. It's also 1111, right? Do you see the 1111? Now, 1111 is a fire number. It means whatever path you're on in your life, you are on it for a reason. It's also the number of manifesting. So what I'm seeing here is that if you want love in your life or if you have been struggling in terms of a love situation, this is about you trying to keep as calm as possible through November, work with the energies that are surrounding you, even if they are emotionally very, very difficult. Try and find as much balance as you can. Do not give up on yourself. That is very, very important because... You just can't make this up. You really just can't. Because there's a lot of very strong, potent energy in the air. The moon is ruled by Pisces. So the Neptune retrograde, which is all to do with ourselves, it's to do with spirituality and spiritual connections that we can have with people, places and things, right? It's very interesting that the moon has come up as well. Okay, so apart from the full moon, the Neptune retrograde is really going to affect our energies in many ways. It is about us also feeling quite enlightened and putting a lot of that focus into ourselves with that temperance card as well. Okay, so the Neptune retrograde has happened in the sign of Pisces. Moon card is ruled by Pisces, as I mentioned. We've got here the death card, which of course is ruled by Scorpio. We also have Scorpio season in November. That's actually how our November starts with the sun in Scorpio. And it's also showing again, a deep emotional transformation. So you will feel very, very, um, very transformative. And also you're gonna go through a lot of emotions throughout the course of November. But it's also going to allow you to grow and to flourish and feel much, much stronger. Okay, so we've got your energy coming through here with the chariot. Very, very strong because it's showing forward movement and progression, right? It's about death and rebirth, endings and new beginnings. It's really about, you know, things getting very, very strong for you. So that's really what I'm seeing here. Okay, so my chair is so squeaky. I'm trying to move forward as well. Okay, so that's what we have going on right there. I don't know if you can see this, but this card flipped over. So... Well, it didn't flip over, but it actually did 
some weird flip and then went back into the deck so you know it was hanging out we've got the hierophant look at all these major arcanas right how many we've got six out of seven make that six out of eight that's crazy so hierophant is ruled by taurus energy it's showing you building up to getting to a point of stability, right? So Nine of Pentacles here is about you feeling really good in your single energy, feeling like you're flourishing, feeling like you're growing, feeling like things are just getting better and better and stronger and stronger for you. So that energy is really beautiful to see because it's showing you getting to a much stronger place in your life, which honestly is really nice to be able to, you know, see that. It's It feels good to see that for sure. So that's what we have there. Look at this. The stronger you feel in your own energy, right? So this is you. Wow, look at this. High Priestess. Counterparts. So there's a huge potential here for love to come in in November. Only if, and only if, you are very much so focused on you. And really putting a lot of this energy into yourself. Because I'm seeing the more you stay strong in your single energy. And you learn to really control your emotions. And to really feel it and not run away from it. The more there is an opening with a person here in November. Now if you're someone that has just been struggling, struggling, struggling. Don't give up. Keep trying. That's obviously very, very important. But I am seeing a new path that is opening up here between you and somebody else. So that's coming through very strong. I'm just going to turn the brightness up a little bit. Um, so the full here is really signifying, showing something very beautiful, very, very strong. It's exciting to see this. I am not going to lie. You know, it is nice to be able to see this and to see that there is a path really opening up here with the sun in the corner as well. A lot of joy and happiness. It's, it's lighting up your path. So the High Priestess here is really showing, you know, definitely do ground your emotions and you will feel much stronger. So this is also you, right, your energy with the High Priestess and also the High, sorry, the High Priestess and the Hierophant. But also the Moon there as well. It's really about just being in control of things and not trying to battle too much, you know, acknowledge what you've got going on. And it's about then moving forward. So we have the High Priestess there. And also with the High Priestess as well, it really is a very, very strong energy of your counterpart making an entrance in November. We also have the Mercury retrograde, right? So it's very possible that during a retrograde, people come in and it just sweeps us in a completely different direction than we ever aimed to go in. And then we also have this Two of Cups, which is very much so showing that there is potential for love to really evolve throughout the course of November. And you've got angels here, right? With the Temperance card, you've got it also with the Four of Wands, and then you've also got it here with the Two of Cups. Huge potential, but also so many major arcanas. Huge. Huge. This is huge. Okay, so this is your reading, Cancer, and I really hope that, you know, this gave you a lot of information, a lot of clarity, and also just, you know, really helps you in your path. Um, and I also, you know, also want to mention as well that my intention bracelets are on Etsy, so if anyone is interested in purchasing those, they will be there. This one here is the good luck one, but I do also have a singles energy one, which I have just literally lost. It is somewhere, I don't know where it went, but it is on my Etsy shop, so the link to my Etsy shop will be down below in the description box, and you can also check out the reviews on there, you can see how other people have got on with them, how they work, which honestly is amazing that so many of you feel this very strong energy with them and things have manifested. So if you are interested, they will be down below and they start from just three pounds of free international shipping, handmade by me. And also the other thing is, of course, private paid readings, all the information's down below, free reading giveaway, information's down below. And um, yeah, you know, that's all there for you to check out if you're interested in any of those things. And I will see you hopefully very very soon whenever you click on my next video if you do don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel also don't forget to like this video as well and do comment down below and let me know how this reading has resonated with you i would absolutely 100 percent love to know so do let me know and so uh, yeah i hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching this and take care bye